Okay, I thought I'd share a quick video for those who don't know how to export animations into UE4. Um, I thought it'd be as straightforward as exporting the whole sequence and then chopping down the ranges, but apparently that's not how it's done. So you can see here I've exported a few already, and I'm just importing some of these animations in, and I'll show you the process here. So I'm just going to import this one. And if you've exported with your mesh selected, you just want to uncheck the uh, import uh, mesh and it should just give you the scalable option and then you want to choose the scaling that you imported initially. So, import. So, basically if you can, imp you can export your mesh and your skeleton with one file and then you can just export your skeleton with the ranges from using Max and I'll show you exactly what I've done here. So if I jump back into Max you'll see I'm selecting my ranges. So I've got the full range like this right. It goes through all these animations. Right, but I exported that right with the mesh and the bones exported, imported and never really unchecked anything. And that's given me a big old file with all the animations and the mesh and stuff in it. But really, well, I only have to export these two at frame zero, the, the pose frame. So uh, just whatever you binded your pose at. So I'm going to change this to so zero, zero, 001. I'm just going to keyframe these two just to make sure zero and 1 are the same. And if I right click on the little clock here, I can change this to 0 and 1. So this is my range. I've got all the bones selected and the mesh. And even if there was rig controllers, that's what I would export. Um, just the mesh and the bones. So I'm going to export selected. And that would be my main export. So mesh, first person hand, F and X. Um, that's fine, I can always up that later, that's okay. Okay, so it's just 0 and 1. And if I was to go back into Unreal, to my mesh, and I could re-import it here. Um, pretty sure that might break a few things now that I've done it in hindsight, but that's what you would do. So I could re-import that, but it might break a few things because I'd already set it up that way and I've got this animation from it. I don't want to kind of lose it. So what I do is like, so for this form fist, now that I've got the main mesh, the main skeleton from this, the initial import, this form fist, I want to go back to Max. And I've got a little thing that I use here for my ranges. Form fist is 5 to 34. So I just right click this, change to 5 to 34. And I get my range there. And that's my bone. And all I have to do is export just this skeleton. So I've selected the bones, just control A, and then I've made up my selection set for the bones. You can easily make new ones for this. Just like everything, the mesh has got morphs on it, so I'll just 
See it was a bigger file actually, let me just cancel that, the right uh, do the import. And you see it's a bigger file because I've included the mesh. You can see I've done it there for the pose fist, but you know I can always go back and uh, fix it, whatever. But I'm pretty sure uh, Unreal Engine will clean that up. So pose piece sign, bring that in and you'll see this is a little different. So I want to uncheck the import mesh, and that's me back to where I was if the mesh wasn't selected on export, because we already have it with that initial file, and we already, had, already have the skeleton in theory with the initial file, but you don't have to export the full animation uh, range for, these, for this to work. It just has to be frame zero, or one, zero, zero to one, with the skeleton and the mesh selected, export those, and that's Unreal bit of everything it needs, and then you export and you get to name them by file and they come in with the file name. So export the time for uh, just choose the skeleton. So choose the skeleton, export the time, import. And just check that, and that's all good. So peace. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you. Bye.